Right, in this video we're just going to go through what are the main basic concepts we're dealing with vectors. And what I've got here is my um, Jojoba sort of app to help me explain all this. So there's many ways to describe a vector. One way is to describe a letter and underline it. But the key thing of a vector is to know that it has direction and it has magnitude or length. So here we have vector A, which goes one square along and two squares up. That gives us our direction and our length. Um, and all these vectors are equal. <coughs> They're all equal to A, because they all have the same direction and all have the same length. Now, if I just take this one vector here, you can see that is no longer the same vector, because I've changed the length and I've changed the direction. But as soon as I put it back to this, then this vector here is exactly the same as the other vectors. If I want to drag the actual vector itself and put it on top, you can see it's exactly the same as all these other vectors A. Now what we can see here, we've got a vector in the opposite direction, it's minus A. So if you have a vector that's exactly the same length but the opposite direction, then we have the min negative vector, minus A. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look what happens when we times a vector by a number. So at the moment I've got k equals 1, so times it by 1, so nothing much is happening. And our vector is 1, 2. 1 in the x direction, 2 in the y direction. Now if I increase that to, let's just choose 2, we can see 2 times 1, 2 becomes 2, 4. And you can see the vector is twice the length of a. One thing to note is the vectors are parallel. And vectors are parallel if one is a multiple of the other. And it doesn't have to be a positive multiple. It could be a negative multiple. So if we make k, say, minus 1, we notice it's just going to be in the opposite direction, exactly the same as minus a. And if we make it minus 1, well, let's get minus 2. We can see it becomes minus 2, 4, and it's still going to be parallel, just in the opposite direction. So anything that is a multiple, where a vector is a multiple of another vector, is a parallel vector. And that's really quite important for some of the proofs that the UK may come across. Right, if we want to add two vectors, here we go, we're going to add this vector AB and this vector here BC. Just look at these two bits here. So AB goes 1, 2, so that's minus 2 in the x direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Look, minus 2, 5. And BC, look, we've just got going 7 in the x direction and nothing in the y direction. And if you add these two together, minus 2, 7, that gives you 5. 5 plus 0 gives you 5. So AC is 5, 5. The key thing to remember when adding vectors, you have the first vector and then you put the beginning of the next vector on the end of that one and then draw it on there. And the result, the addition of the two vectors, is going from the beginning of the first vector to the end of the second vector. And what you can see is if we just change BC, so BC is now um, a bigger vector, we can see just... So we've added on uh, an extra 2 to the y, and you can see that AC changes accordingly. And similarly, if we were to change AB, again, also, actually in this case, if I change AB, what I'm doing is also changing BC, um, I've still got A to C is not changing. So I change AB and not BC, there we go. We can see AC now is changing in here. And if we want to subtract two vectors, then all we do, instead of adding the vector on, we just draw it in the opposite direction. So this is now, this is AB minus BC going along there. So the result from A to D here is AB minus BC. So we can see that also having the same effect. And all you do with the column vectors, minus 4 minus 8 gives me minus 12. So you're going 12 in the, minus 12 in the x direction. And then we've got 5 minus 0, that gives us 5 in the y direction. So you go minus 5 and 12. Sorry, minus 12 and 5 in the y direction. So to recap, the important points of this video are vectors are equal if they have the same length and same direction. They are parallel if one is a multiple of the other. And they have the opposite direction if one is the negative of the other. And you add vectors by putting one vector, BC here, on the end of the other vector, AB. And then where the start and the finish 
gives you your new vector, the addition of those two vectors. And to subtract, all we do is we just change the direction of the vector we are subtracting.